All right, so this is the chord identification method trainer. Um, so the way it works is that um, the kids are supposed to identify chords. Um, there are nine of the chords and there's a little information about exactly what you're supposed to do here. Um, and the idea is that in each session, you're going to do something like this. So first you start by playing the chords for the child. So Max, first you're going to hear the red chord. That's the red chord. And then the red chord again. Should they hear it? They'll be able to hear it too. And then the red chord. And next we're going to play the yellow chord. We'll play the yellow chord again. So that's the yellow chord. Yellow chord again. Now I'm going to play the red chord. And then I'm going to play the yellow chord. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Okay, so now that you're used to that, let's start on the trainer. So with the trainer, what we do is we press play, he's going to hear the chord, and then he selects which of the two colors corresponds to the sound you heard. Wait, Papa, you forgot to say, you forgot to say that, that, like, which, like, sometimes you get wrong and sometimes you get right. Yes, well, you'll, we'll see that as it goes. There's a little kitty. The kitty right now is happy and whether he gets it right or wrong. All right, you got it right. So the kitty's happy and he's at 100%. So the kitty is super happy. Next one. Nice. That one was yellow. Red. Oh, so that one was actually the red chord. So now, because he got it wrong, we're going to play the red chord again to remind him that was the red chord. Okay, so let's hear it the red chord. All right, and let's go to the next one. Nice, that one's the yellow chord. Oh, that one was actually the red chord. So play the red chord again, then we go to the next one. Oh, it was the yellow chord. Why did you say, oh, it was the yellow chord? Because it was the yellow chord, and you got it right. Yeah, except I tapped right a few times, and I thought it was yellow. Yeah, I know. That was lucky. It was supposed to register those reds. Oh, that one was the yellow chord. Remember the yellow chord? All right. So this will keep going. Um, usually we stop after 20 to 25. Sometimes I keep going a little bit more if he's uh, on a good streak. Um, but that is the uh, that is the core trainer. So what you do here is you go until the kid is able to do um, do this 100% of the time every time you do it. So you do it about four or five times a day, um, about 20 to 25 identifications, and when they're able to get the chord right every single time, um, e either then or uh, or two weeks, whichever is longer, right? So if they if they can do it perfectly after three days, keep it up until two weeks. Um, then you introduce the next chord. So to introduce the next chord, you just pull, you just go to this pull down menu, and then you'll add the blue chord, um, and you can reset the stats, um, and then um, here. That was the yellow chord. That one was the yellow chord as well. That one's the blue chord. That one's the blue chord. I'm going to just do this randomly. Because you'll see the kitty cat. Papa, can I try blue? You want to try blue? Uh -huh. So the kitty cat gets grumpy if you get really bad at it. Go. Cool. Nice. He's getting the kitty cat happy again. Nice. All right. 
So that's how you use the cord identification method trainer. Um, hopefully that is helpful.